Do you want to take control of your finances so that you are ready for your second half of life in retirement? Then this video is for you. Welcome to Track Us Down. If you're just finding us, I'm Monique. And I'm Doug. Our channel is all about downshifting to an early retirement, living a healthy lifestyle, and enjoying all the freedom that comes with it. After over 25 years of working hard and raising our family, we retired from our careers, we sold everything, and we began our second half of life. We begin here on the beautiful island of Madeira. If you watched our intro to downshifting video, you know that we said that one of the ways that we downshifted to our second half of life was by taking control of our finances. And if you've been watching our videos for a while, you know that one of the things that we always say in our intro is that we are enjoying all the freedom that comes with it. And that of course includes, and must include, financial freedom. Moving into your second half of life, downshifting is a great time to pause and take a real close look at your finances. It's important to do this. If you're like us, maybe you have been working a busy career, raising a family, maybe you've been in public service like we have, and maybe you haven't invested a whole lot of time into your own financial literacy. However, if you are 100% in control of your finances, your money, and you feel confident, then congratulations to you, you are ahead of the game. For us, the motivation for how we began the long road to our financial literacy and taking control of our money began, of course, with why. What is it that was actually important to us for our second half of life? What did we want to accomplish? What were the things that we wanted to do? What was the meaning for us going forward? And for you, what does the next 30, 40, 50 years look like for you in your second half of life in retirement? How does money factor in as it always does? And what is your purpose? Warren Buffett was one... Warren Buffett? <laughs> Sorry, I, I know it. Warren Buffett was someone that we began to read up on and study as we began to develop our financial literacy. One of his ideas that really resonated with us was his 525 rule. It gave us the guidance to answer the questions to the why, the what, and the how that would guide us for our second half of life. Warren Buffett's 525 rule. Number one, make a list of the top 25 things you want to do in life. Number two, now do the top five. Three, never ever think about the other 20 again. And four, or else they will take away from the top five that are the most important. We wrote down our 25 things we wanted to do, accomplish, focus on, and then it became apparent to us what the top five things were that we really wanted to concentrate on, focus on, and accomplish in our second half of life. We're gonna share those with you now. Number one, our family. We have two sons and extended family, Doug's parents and siblings, and Part of our priority in our second half of life is staying in contact with them, having adventures with them, doing exciting things with them, and watching their lives develop and grow. So keeping in touch is so easy nowadays with FaceTime, texting, group chats. We feel connected to our family no matter where we are in the world, and we encourage our boys to spend time all over the world. But we stay connected as a family, and that is our, one of our number one priorities. Coming in at number two on our list was, like many other people, to see the world. And that's always been very important for us. If you've watched some of our previous videos, especially the one called One Year Off, You'll know that when we were 35 years old and our boys were 7 and 10, we had planned and undertook a one year off break from our jobs, from our careers, and traveled around the world for a year with our two young boys. We went to over 30 different countries. There were different segments from three months 
and 11,000 miles in a motorhome around Europe to African safaris to drives through Africa, a train trip all the way around India, backpacking through Southeast Asia and into Australia. And once you've done any kind of extended travel, and I'm not talking about a vacation beach trip to Mexico or anything like that, but an actual traveling trip, you get bit by what's often called the travel bug and it has stayed with us. And that is so important to us going forward is extended world travel. Number three for priorities for us was to enjoy daily living. As much as all the exciting moments of life come and traveling is part of it and seeing family is part of it, a lot of life is just daily living. And one of the things that we wanted for our second half of life was to enjoy that daily living. And that meant enjoying the place we live in, enjoying all the amenities that were around, having time to read, having time to grow as, as people, and having time with each other, having time to do general life maintenance that we need to do, and enjoying the time together. So enjoying daily living was important to us for our second half of life. And one of the main things to picking the place for us was the weather. No more snow, no more cold. We're here in beautiful Madeira, perpetual spring and summer. Number four, health and fitness. As you know, if you've watched any of our previous videos, we are big proponents of living a healthy lifestyle, going to fitness classes, to the gyms, walking every day, which we have done for over two decades, I would say, and eating healthy and just laughing often, just being happy and healthy. That of course can come from the foods you choose, the research you do and learning about new foods. Here in Madeira, they grow most of their fruits and vegetables right here on the island. Everything's fresh. It's wonderful for that. But I always say that your health is your wealth. So without your health, all the wealth you have doesn't really matter. You need your health to enjoy your finances and enjoy your freedom in your second half of life. And number five brings us to our finances and taking control of our finances and being confident in our finances was really important to us for our second half of life. That involved for us being completely debt free. It also meant understanding clearly our pensions and our investments. It also meant adopting minimalism. And for us, for our finances, it also meant having a really robust emergency fund as well as having enough. We often say it's like going on a hike. We want to have enough water and a little bit more. So going forward for our second half of life, we want to have enough money and a little bit more. That is one of the things that we want to focus on for our second half of life. So along with our family, seeing the world, staying healthy, enjoying daily living, having strong finances was important to us. And of course, when we say minimalism, we don't mean living in a bare apartment with a chair and a table. We just mean at this point, as we said before, getting rid of all our stuff that ties us down. It's freedom in a different way than financial freedom. It's freedom from all the things that you have to look after, all the maintenance, all the things that you have to take with you. We have what we need. We can still have high quality of the things that we need and enjoy the things that we need, but just much less of it. Just what you need to enjoy life and to be free out Absolutely. in the world. If you were to make a list of the top 25 things you wanted for your second half of life and then clearly look at only five of them, five of the most important ones, what would that be for you? What would you want for your second half of life? Once you know that, you can begin to take control of your finances with a purpose and know exactly how much is enough plus a little bit more. And you could also begin your second half of life with the dedication to saving and making money and going forward, being in control of your finances. And we can't emphasize this point enough. We often say the freedom that comes with it and the freedom of knowing exactly what is your purpose in your second half of life, in your retirement, is so empowering because you know what your plan is. It gives you a roadmap, what you're saving for, what you're working towards. 
Exactly, and knowing your purpose gives you the dedication that you need to take control of your finances and know your money and know what you will need that's enough and a little bit more. So I think you'll be surprised, it's a fun exercise to do, to sit down by yourself or with your significant other and put together a list of your top 25 things that are the most important for you in your life and then whittle it down to your top five and there's your roadmap for retirement. If you do this activity, we would love to hear in the comments section below what your top five reasons are. So as always, if you found this video helpful and it gives you food for thought and maybe an outline to sketch out your upcoming second half of life, please like and subscribe to our videos and leave a comment down below. We love seeing them and reading them and responding to them. And when you subscribe to our channel, it helps us reach other viewers who might be interested and it helps our little channel grow. So as usual, check back in and track us down.